Hello, my name is Greg Wolf. I'm the director of the Institute of Classical Studies. I have been since the 1st of January 2015, so you're hearing me very much new to the job, um, but it's a great job. I'm delighted to be here. I just wanted to say a little bit about the Institute, what we do, and maybe a little bit of what we might do in the future. We're one of nine or ten institutes brought together in a School of Advanced Study. Most of us are in this extraordinary building right in the heart of Bloomsbury, Senate House, which you probably recognise little bits of it from odd movie scenes because occasionally we'll get people filming anything from Jeeves and Worcester to Batman in one or another of the extraordinary marble halls. And up here on the third floor, uh, the Institute of Classical Studies. The big bit of it, big physically, is a library and it's one of the best libraries for classics in the world really. We have people fly in from Australia every year, uh, academics come from North America, Italian, French, German scholars and of course lots of scholars from London and other British universities. And they come partly for the library and partly because around Senate House lots of other things happen in classics. The Roman Society, the Society for Promotion of Hellenic Studies, often meetings connected with the Classical Association, the Virgil Society. Uh, there's a Mycenaean seminar that takes place here. And there's a whole series of things like that which in some way couldn't happen anywhere else apart from in London because for the UK, London is the easiest place to get to, it's where everything is, and people come here to share ideas on a national scale. At the moment, there's about six seminar series that run. They start in the Aegean Bronze Age, Occasionally we do things on late antiquity, we cover literature, we cover archaeology. Some things we do with other people in partnership, we do things with the British Museum, we do a few things with the British Library, some things we do on our own and some things we just give to a bunch of graduate students to let them get on with it. We have, there's a graduate seminar which is completely faculty free, a faculty free zone, um, and there's a post doc one which has people who are they finish their doctorate in their first years of their research, sometimes called early career researchers, but from all over Europe, and they come and give papers. And so that's a big part of what we do. People come here for meetings with the other societies, they come to use the library. Uh, they'll come to a boring meeting and then go and sit in the library afterwards, because it's a good way to get your funding to come to the library. Uh, they'll go to seminars, they'll meet up, and you meet people by accident. And that's one of the nice things about institutions like this. It's that you run into people and say, oh, let's go and have a cup of coffee. What are you reading? Or, that's interesting. Have you thought about this? So, there's a kind of sense in which places like the School of Art Study and inside it, the Institute of Classical Studies, are they're places where serendipity is organised. They're incubators for ideas. And you will meet visiting scholars. Sometimes we have a visiting fellow who will come from Israel, from America, from Canada, from wherever for six months or, or three months and they get to know the local graduate students, they give papers on their research and so on. We have a couple of regular visiting fellowships focused around the work of um, Webster um, and the work of Trendle who are two extremely important archaeologists from an earlier generation and they will come and they'll give a big lecture and they'll be writing a project and they'll also be sort of hanging out so that you can ask them questions. Um, and they'll quite often go and visit other places in the UK where they're over here. So we bring people in and then they move around. What the formal language for what we do nowadays in the HE business is we do research, promotion and facilitation. I think what that means is we make things happen. We just create this great big playroom, a huge sandpit in which people come together. If what they want to do one year is classics and feminism, that's cool. And if what they want to do next year is to run a course on Epidoc, which is a way of marking up inscriptions in Greek and Latin so they can be manipulated digitally, that's cool as well. So the Institute of Classical Studies, it's, it's, it's like a fishbowl in which we sort of put interesting fish and see what they do to each other. And hopefully it's not too violent, but it's always interesting to watch. Come to the Institute of Classical Studies. It's open to everybody. We would love to have classicists of whatever stage in their careers come, visit, speak, read, just enjoy the atmosphere.